Good afternoon and welcome. This is only going to be a short video because this cough is still not going away. But I received a package in the post today. I believe it's from FG Normal. And it's of a diamond painting that I saw Enza do. Now, for those that don't know, my husband has an aviary and people have commented that can hear the birds in the background of the videos. <coughs> I do apologise. Well, I recently did a budgie diamond painting for him, which he absolutely adored. And then Enza did one that was all crystals. So, of course, Hubby fell in love with that. So, he saved up his pennies and off he went and purchased it. And I believe that's what this is. It may not be, but I believe it is. So, let's open it up and have a look. It's very well packaged. And that well packaged, they don't want me to get it out of the bag. Uh, it's as if it's stuck to the bag. I can see it just will not pull out. I'm literally having to tear the bag because it will not. Oh, look how I've had to destroy that. Anyway, I'll give that to my assistant. Yes, this is definitely the budgie. It, you can tell the kit goes to there because this bit's flat and there's a crease where the kit and the diamonds have ended and it's quite heavy. I do believe it says the weight on the package but we don't need to know that. The canvas number, if anybody is interested, is right there. I don't know whether you can see that clearly enough. But it says 20831YP-40-50-YZ. Yeah, that's it. So let's take this out and have a look. At least I came out easier than it did out of the other one. Oh no, this isn't the budgie one at all. This is one that my husband ordered for himself, but he's not going to want me. He's not going to want to do it himself. He's going to want me to do it. My husband is also a big Doctor Who fan. And this is a Doctor Who canvas. <clears throat> so let's open it up. And I got this from Amazon. Well, all be high for you, but I've got it. So, yeah. I to roll that. That is the picture. You have every doctor around the edge with their TARDIS. So you've got them there, and then... There we go. <clears throat> There's a lot of blues and blacks in this, but there's actually no 310. There are 22 colours. We have 161, 318, 353, 798, 799, 8128, 7901, 798, 799, 8231, 3048, 7901, but he's not talked about a lot because he was only there for the film. He was not there as in the series. And as we all know, the War Doctor was the late John Hurt. 
So there's a better picture of it on the inventory sheet. And it shows you, I'm assuming, the symbols, the DCM and the amount that should be in the weight. Because, for example, letter G is 823, which is 518. Oh, there are 5,163 and it weighs 30.2. As the top is in Chinese, I have no idea. So, that's that. And then here are your gems. It is around and they are all bagged up. Which is great because it means you don't have to get up. If you don't mind working out the baggies and there are some beautiful colours including tardis blue of course but yes that is that for now i will hand that off to my assistant i'm a bit disgusted about the back of the canvas because look at those dirty marks don't know if you can see those but that's a bit disgusting it's obviously from the print on the inventory sheet and it's got its basic kit so I'll pass all that over to my assistant who will sort that out for me. Because also while I'm here I want to discuss these pens. If you looked at my um, friend mail from Debbie Gets Crap, let me have a drink of my pop so if you don't. I really am sorry that this cough will not go away. As you know, in my recent friend mail, Debbie got me a lovely diamond painting and she got me these lovely, um, some calling them reindeer, some are calling them stacks, so you decide for yourself. But she got me a pack of four of these diamond painting pens, which I'd had on my wish list for a while because the stag is sacred to me, so it was something that screamed to me because it looked pretty it was a diamond painting pen it had a stag on it and as you can see there is a lovely stag and it's filled with diamonds and it has a single pleasure on the end that is where the good news ends i decided to try this out the other day and when i first had it it was like that where the end was out and every time you pressed it it would push in and then when you'd lift it back off the wax it would come out again and then after five diamonds had been placed, the whole thing came out. Yeah. It came out completely, the nib did. So, yes, you can push it back in. But to be honest, the base, I don't use any of the super sticky waxes or anything like that because they're too expensive. I just use the basic waxes. And I was using the purple wax that comes with some of the pens. So I wasn't using anything super sticky that would pull it out because of it being super sticky. I was just using the standard wax and to me if the standard wax is pulling these pen nibs out, they're not worth your money because they're not cheap. Um, a pack of four is $8.99 and a two pack is $6.99. And they're only plastic, they're not even metal. They're very lightweight plastic. Um, and while they're pretty, and they really are pretty, and I absolutely love them, they're not practical. Because if you've got to spend half the day replacing the nib or trying to find the glue to keep it in, it really isn't worth it. So Debbie, I really adore them and I thank you for the present. But I had to come and show people that there is issues with them so that they didn't spend their money on them. And with that, as always, peace, love and harmony.